Tigoko is registered society. Now we have uh, more than 200 members working uh, together uh, with a sector of uh, farming uh, into cotton cultivation, dyers, uh, spinners, and weavers. Festival is all about reaching our voice to different levels of organization, government, and individual. We have started this festival with uh, five points. Right? The first one is recognize and specify the loyalty scheme, and uh, to set up a separate handloom directorate, to set up a a committee which work uh, together with the government and introduce as uh, uh, optional subject in educational institute also so that it carry forward the tradition to give a custodian rights to the tribes women so the design of our uh, heritage textile is not duplicate or it is not used in an improper way. festival open so you can start your weaving now. Thank you. My name is Linda McIntosh. I'm from Lone Prabang, Laos. I'm from Gujarat. I'm Svetlana Rejakova from Russia. My name is Tarun. I am from Delhi. My name is Kushpu Prajapati. I am from the CSR wing of Tata Steel from Jamshedpur. My name is Carol Cassidy. My name is Preeta Sen. I am from Google. here last year and decided to come back again this year for the Loin Moon Festival. I think it's wonderful how um, Exotic Echo and the team is enriching livelihoods of uh, weavers in Nagaland and trying to revive this whole weaving technique and designing for a more uh, contemporary look. So I wish them well and uh, I hope they keep growing. This year there were international candidates from uh, Laos, etc. So I hope this keeps growing and more people know about this weaving technique. We first got to know about this Lailun festival uh, this year itself and so we decided to come over here to see what exactly this festival is about and uh, I would uh, say, confess that it is excellent. I found that the exotic echo is, is a great endeavor preserving and promoting the heritage of the Naga women. What happens here uh, in the cultural sphere is interesting for me, uh, and especially in uh, traditional culture, and preservation of traditional culture. That is a very good idea, very good. I appreciate the whole initiative to maintain uh, the traditional uh, crafts and to develop it and to make it known. So uh, my big thanks to the organizer and uh, Good success, have a good success. Coming here, I got to experience uh, the culture of Nagaland. Uh, I got to experience the food, I got to experience the people, and I got to meet a lot of uh, amazing, amazing people out here. 
which I could not have imagined meeting otherwise. And uh, it's been it's been an amazing experience. It was an honor to be invited here to the Wine Loom Festival. Um, we had the experience to see many traditional wine loom weavers who came. We had competitions, uh, got to see what they're doing, hear some of their stories. It was a very exciting event and I hope it will continue um, and I hope I'll be able to come other years. It's an unbelievable experience. The participation has been international and what I've learned about line loom by itself is, is, is very different from what I knew about weaving. I'm not a fabric person, but I, I love garments. Uh, I like uh, the colors of, of fabric, and here it's very different from, and of course, the Maga culture. I think it's a wonderful initiative, and I've seen it grow from the first festival, and this is the third year. And look at the, the crowd, and we have, you, you know, they've done a wonderful job with uh, building these cottages and uh, you know putting up uh, you know, these systems and uh, you know that people are coming and just enjoying themselves and loving. The uh, whole idea of this festival was basically to give a lot of international space and exposure to the Lion Loom weavers. Uh, there is no festival which is specifically promoting uh, the grassroot level people, people who actually weave and earn their livelihoods to this uh, and that's why we've got this caption for the festival livelihood through traditions we are happy that uh, we've been able to put together the third edition of the festival we had people from all over the world we have people from tata csr the government has come in and promised some support and i think the best thing about this festival is we never waited for government support we just dreamt we struggled we fell we got up but we did it. First of all, I want to thank uh, Mr. Viswas for uh, this festival. He is the man uh, behind this festival. And lastly, I want to thank uh, Patricia Mukin and um, the delegates, the weavers, people, those who come as uh, volunteers to make it happen. I cannot express my words, but uh, May God bless you in everything you do and I hope uh, we will continue helping and support each other in the coming days.